Hello guys and welcome back, it's another list from Oscar Cooper, I hope you're all well. I've got some couch co-op and split screen games to go through, five absolute beauties, I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start with five games obviously and the fifth game on the list is Pixel Junk uh, Shooter Ultimate. So this is a, a really cool sort of greatest hit game. They've got a big backlog, really cool indie games on the PlayStation Network. This one is around uh, $14, not too expensive. It's a little bit old but it still looks good and it still sounds great. I kind of get a Life Aquatic vibe with it. You'll notice that from the submarine and I just want to go through the different modes. Yeah, there's online battle and but the adventure mode is where all the cool stuff is. It's all co-op, two player co-op, not four player but there's unlockables and galleries and all kinds of things to tweak about with it's a very adorable game this it, it, I'm going back to it quite a lot so what the, what the hell is it all about well it's almost like a cave dwelling game where you, you're, you're flying around in a, in a cave where you, it, it's controls are very smooth very easy to get used to but what you'll notice is that the game thrives on elements and, and there's water and fire and all kinds of nasties inside the caves that are trying to kill you your objective is to actually save these, these little people, you'll spot them in and around and you have a, a grappling hook that allows you to sort of pick them up and, and whip them into safety. The idea is also about collectibles and discovery. You're, you're looking for these diamonds everywhere and uh, once you get enough of them you can move on to the next level and of course you can actually friendly fire these little dudes and it's a heartbreaker to see the poor guys dying. A little bit like Resogun where you've got to rescue a bunch of people to get the level clear. It's it's a bit crazy to be honest with you. It's There's, there's almost uh, quite a lot going on a, a lot of the time and what you can do is you can push the water into the fire you can actually ignite this gas this flammable gas there's a lot of thought gone into this and it's not a game that you can rush into and rush through you have to sort of pick your timings and and, and soak up what the level is all about before sort of gradually exploring and, and, and taking it apart it's very very good this game it's it's got a level of polish to it that all pixel junk games have they had a tower defense game as well I, the name escapes me but that was also very good so yeah this is a, a two player really cool twin stick adventure style shoot 'em up game as the name suggests but what it does is it adds this great level of science uh, and element into it where you, gravity is all at work here and there's all kinds of things going on at once and you have to just work out the, the puzzles using the game's elements it, it, it works incredibly well there's even temperature in, in regards to your ship that's how the energy works is your ship will get too hot if you get too close to the uh, fire or if you actually use your weapon too much you'll see that the, the gauges at the bottom there will, will heat up and a cool idea is that you can actually get in, into the water and, and, and cool down again it's, uh, it, it's pretty awesome it's kind of like an energy replenisher um, but there's just so much to do so much going on so much to unlock it's one of those games that just keeps pulling you through because you want to see more caves you want to see what else what other crazy stuff it's going to do and, and muck around with all this water and and great splash mechanics and physics etc. Awesome. Yes, it's one of Ubisoft's greatest platforming franchises, the Rayman series, particularly Rayman Legends. This is an amalgamation, I feel, of some of the coolest levels in, in those games so far. Now, a quick disclaimer here. The person that is playing all of these games with me uh, over these last week or so to get this footage is actually the missus, and she's completely new to computer games and video games. Right, Using two analog sticks simultaneously is like the next step for her. So please forgive me uh, with some of this footage. I've tried my hardest to get the, the, the best bits, but Christ, it was, you know, difficult. But anyway, back to Rayman. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's funny. The soundtrack is great. The art is absolutely awesome. The enemies are so funny. It's a game that I love on two levels. I have it on my Vita, actually. It's one of these few games that I've purchased twice, but it's so worth it. You want it everywhere all the time. It's, it's the Mario for us Sony uh, PlayStation 4 owners, I think, anyway. It's a beautiful platformer with so much satisfaction and awesome mechanics and just hilarious artwork and characters etc it does really well with unlockables and uh, f making you want to explore the game more making you want to open those new levels and giving you all these really cool freebies etc it's an incredible piece of work this game in, and it actually is stunningly beautiful some of the artwork and, and I, I wouldn't say it was hand drawn it, it certainly looks hand drawn it, it lavished really really beautiful the the guys that made it they must have put so much love into it it's, the detail on it is everywhere 
everywhere. You, you always see these little things that you didn't notice before. And for a game I own twice, it, yeah, I really do think it's worth the money. I, I picked this up for, I got a relatively cheap uh, hard copy for about $15, let's say $15, 10 quid. So I think, you know, now is a good time to buy it when it comes to this. It really, if you and your mate, if you have a housemate or a brother and you really love platformers and you really lo love that sort of Mario side scrolling style, then this is just total no brainer. So Overcooked, finally, Overcooked, I, I, I finally play it and put it on a video. It's actually made by Team 17, didn't even realise. If you're if you're my generation, you know exactly who those guys are. Amazing heritage with, with gaming. Uh, right from the start, you're getting this sort of uh, certain cartoony vibe with the graphics. And and this game is a little bit like one of those people that you that you get in a fight with in the, in the pub. And uh, they, they look like a lovely, uh, squishy little person. But, but when the fist starts fly and you realize they're hard as nails and completely evil holy crap never ever have i had to shout get me the onions get me the friggin onions as loud as, as i have when when playing overcooked it it is a stunning stunning co-op game it is just so difficult and you need to be thinking a couple of moves ahead like when you're playing pool you need to be already on the black you know by the time you're halfway through the game it, it it's great it's hilarious as well you you find yourself having these arguments about some chopped tomatoes that have been left on the side i mean it, the, the the game really gives you the the ropes and then and then it, it, to, enough to hang yourself with if you know what i mean check out this footage here everything's going great and then you're just like no it's not and uh, the kitchen's moving around and i know we now need to spot places allocating jobs to your partner or the person you're playing with is really fun because you're going to be like i'm going to do x y and z and then you do x y and z and then there's a freaking earthquake and everything just goes out the wind and there's dirty plates and that, and someone has to run it you know you, you hear what I'm saying it's one of the few games that, that I've actually purchased on a recommendation from the channel actually and shout out to everyone that that that, that uh, mentioned it because I, I I love it it's uh, it's a proper party game this one is up to four player so it's one of the first on the list that's that's a four player game and and that's really the more people are involved uh, the more chefs shall we say don't don't spoil the broth so overcooked stunning really worth a look So this is Badland, a, a game that totally took me by surprise because, uh, again, recommended. And I think, don't don't quote me on this. I think it was free for, for one of the months we had previously, but I didn't I didn't download it. I ignored it because I, I didn't know what it was, and I, di I didn't like the name. I thought it was a bit pretentious, but it's basically the thinking man's. Flappy Bird, if, if you like it. it. It it is a one button controlled game, but what they've done is these developers have thrown in all these different elements that, that make you larger, smaller, sticky, bouncy, everything. And of course it's I th up to four player as well with this one. And of course there's a yellow and an orange player. You can see here uh, certain players will survive uh, and you can actually multiply your sprite or, or avatar to be more than one, thus increasing the chances of you surviving through a puzzle and the puzzles they want to tear you up it's almost got a super meat boy-esque violence to it where every, everything wants to kill you it's a bit like accelerated evolution natural selection if you know what i mean because you'll some bit someone will survive going through one of these puzzles and and of course if they do this adulation and, and sometimes the game's moving so quickly that you don't actually know who, which person it, that that is but you just know that you're you're still moving forward it's it's actually incredible it, it's got a almost inside like art style if you, if you know that game is this silhouetted uh, backdrop uh, uh, and front uh, parallax scrolling here it, 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 it's awesome this one it, and then remember this is a rank list so this is second on the list a, a real pleasant surprise loads of levels loads of content I brought the game of the year edition here with uh, with some of the added DLC and I love it this one's very very uh, party friendly there's a versus mode as well you can go online with it I uh, what a game Okay, so here we are, Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. 
finally we get this game on the PlayStation 4 and with a nice sort of high-end uh, uh, graphics um, sheen put over the whole thing. I, I, I watched the PC version, some footage of this game, and, the, and this looks as good as the original did on a, on a decent PC, so that's great. Now, if you don't know much about this game, this is a really big hitter, actually. It's the one of the full-price games on, on the list. I think the only full-price game on the list. It's an RPG with turn-based combat with the emphasis on exploration, character development, and it's all set in a sort of Witcher-style universe where you're, you and a partner or, or a party actually travel around you're solving uh, a crime at the beginning but it actually flips very quickly to a full-blown massive RPG just in the line of Skyrim or anything else like that you might think oh this looks a bit like Diablo yeah it, it, there are certain aspects of it that, that, that show that but the combat is as I mentioned turn-based very strategic this game is not easy um, this game is is very detailed there's so much infantry there's loads of menus don't be fooled this is not a simple RPG by any any stretch you need to know what you're doing you need to have experience with the genre but I want to say something now what a joy having this on a local co-op level full split screen the the, the uh, areas that you can explore with this setup are, are boundless because you can just wander off you can go and have a fight with someone go and recruit someone else on your team go and trade go and do a side quest you can split up you can come back you can solve puzzles together and of course the game actually as a one player piece of content is amazing also the second the divinity is just out on the pc actually and have a look at what the reviewers are saying about that but more importantly have a look at what 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 reviewers say about this this is an acclaimed game front cover of the box over 150 awards on it so divinity original sin is currently my favorite couch co-op game it looks great it plays great it's huge there's loads of detail it's another awesome rpg for me to get my teeth into after finishing a game like Witcher and Skyrim and of course the whole thing can be done with a split screen very cleverly done as well combat merges the screen so that you're on the same screen if you wander off the screens then split again what a great idea um, this just you know grab a mate grab a beer sit down have a great adventure the loot's awesome the crafting's in there the enemies are great you can zoom in and out with the controls as well you can go in really close and get a good look at all the detail and everything so yeah I'm finishing up guys, uh, thanks so much, reach 2,000 subscribers, awesome, having an awesome week, as always, see you down there, and uh, keep in touch, mm. give me some comments. Move.